Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining this session. In this session, we're going to explore how we can install and configure the Bytepost AI agent locally within our system. So first we have to visit this URL. I'll put that into a description and I'll copy the clone URL from here. And I'll just minimize this. I'll open up my VS Code Studio and I have one folder here called Bytepost Local. What I just do, I'll go inside the uh, Bytepost Local and I'll just do git clone and the URL. I'll paste that, it will clone the entire project into my current directory, which is the Bytepost Local. And after the successful cloning, I can see the agent has been installed and all the patch packages. So I'll just follow the entire process of installation. So what I can do is I can quickly open up the user manual.md and I can do all those setup. Here it says I had to do the installation requirement of txt in the Bytepost AI agent directory. So let me just go to CD and here and I'll just do the paste the command. So while it is being executed, let me just quickly check what is the other one. So I have to get the all the API keys from the different service provider and I have to create one .env file inside my project directory. I can go to my project directory. This will be my sample, will be my open directory. You can choose this chatbot as well. And as of now, we have the project chatbot and the sample. Inside the sample, I'm going to create one file called .env and I'm going to keep all my API keys down here. And I'll just quickly format it so we will get the clean. Okay, so the the environment variable setup is done and we have all setup is done. Let's just quickly check what is the output. Yes, yeah, perfect. So now this we are running in the Windows environment while doing the installation. You should be taking care of one stuff that in the agent.sh instead of Python 3, you should do just Python because you are running this in Windows. The Python doesn't support the, uh, the Windows doesn't support the Python 3. Uh, the recent back case. So let me just quickly check other one. So we don't need the chatbot. We can delete that. And we can go to the agent.sal and in the agent.sh I'll do the same here as well. Oh, perfect. So now we are all set to go. We can test our first prompt here. Let me just quickly check code.prompt.nb. This is the one file. We should have it to prompt the AI, all of our instructions will go there. So we can just keep it right a hello world program using Python like language export as app.py. So I have written this prompt, so it's going to consider this source as the output directory, which we can see it from here. The prompt will be taken from the prompts directory, references will be taken from references, the output directory will be sourced, and we have a log. Here from here, you can toggle your LLM provider. We, we have DeepSeek, OpenAI, Anthropic, and OctoAI support as of now. And this is the respective models we have been used, and the URLs that's being used inside the project. So let's just quickly start putting the environment variables. So to get the environment variables, let me just take you to the respective portals so you will get a better idea how we can generate the API keys. So for this purpose, uh, we need to, for the Anthropic, you need to go to the, the console.anthropic.com. From here, you can create your API keys easily and you can use the API keys and you can paste it there. Same way you can go to the DeepSeek platform and you can create new API keys and you can use it with the pop. And the uh, the last one, API keys, we can do the API key from the uh, OpenAI. You can create your open, open AI API key and you can use it for the project. So now you have all the API keys set up. So you can replace this book in your API keys, your Dipsic API keys and Anthropic API keys with your custom API key and then you will be all set to go.
let me just quickly take this environment variable and paste it with my actual environment variable so so we can play around with the uh, so we can play around with the data so I just subset my data and let me just close all those open files here and I'll just go to my prompt and I'll go to my terminal and what I'll just say I just wanted to go to CD projects and I'll just I'll just do ls inside this I have my sample which is my current working directory for the projects so I'll go to CD sample and I'll just do ls and now I can see my agent is there so from here you can directly check see your agent is here so you can we can find it at the top so to execute that agent.ss file what I can do is I'll just do dot slash agent.s so right now the process of executing the file is the agent will take the prompt from the prompts.md file and it will give it to AI the whichever model we have selected or whichever model we have configured in the .sh file in the agent.s file or the user.conf.ss file and it will do the back and forth operation and it does all the execution by itself. So we can see in the uh, control we can see agent.sh has been executed and it is data has been sent to LLM1 and the data we got it from LLM2 and back and forth we got our app.py so it says would you like to proceed with this command so I'll say no because I'll do it manually otherwise you can do all this operation I don't know so let's just quickly get to our source and we can check the after by we can see the file has been written and we can see the hello world so this is the way how we can install our byte post local agent locally so this is just a simple application you can just play around with the prompt to make a high or full fledged application that will solve the purpose that will be a little bit scalable or you can just play around you can just copy the uh, if you have any issues with the code you can just copy the error and you can just paste it in the uh, the block like error block and you can also ask the AI to debug and all those stuff so yeah this it was the quite a comprehensive guide uh, to set up the installation locally and get started doing the project so thank you for watching this video and in the uh, further releases or the further videos will keep updating you with the new features and the new uh, new development coming in thank you very much